Now, to me, this does not come as much of a surprise, but according to Baltimore Ravens insider Jeff Zerbiak of The Athletic, the Ravens had a deal in place with the Denver Broncos for wide receiver Cortland Sutton. Denver ultimately spurned Baltimore at the 11th hour, and they ended up going down the path of Odell Beckham Jr. instead. It sounds like Denver had some second thoughts about trading Sutton altogether, and perhaps Baltimore's package did not please the Broncos sufficiently enough to ultimately pull the trigger. At the NFL League owners meeting, Broncos head coach Sean Payton said that the team was not going to trade either starting wide receiver Cortland Sutton or Jerry Judy. If you read between the lines, what Payton was actually saying there was, yeah, we did dangle them on the trade market, but ultimately nobody was willing to pony up what we asked, so we decided to take them off the trade market. Ever since these rumors started swirling about the Broncos potentially moving on from one of their wide receivers, I always felt that it was more of a case that we will move on from them if someone absolutely blows us away with an offer, but they tried and nobody blew them away with an offer. Cortland Sutton would have been able to save $18 million had he been taken off the cap, although I have to imagine that there was some kind of agreement between Denver and Baltimore where Denver would pay part of his salary and Baltimore would take care of the rest. Either way, it seems like all of these Cortland Sutton trade rumors are in the books and it feels like the Broncos are going to move forward with their top four wide receivers intact. And I feel like it was a very similar situation with Jerry Judy and the Cleveland Browns. The Browns tried to trade for Jerry Judy, but they ultimately were not willing to give what Denver was asking for him, so they ended up pivoting to Elijah Moore. Like I said, man, I don't think it was a case of Denver was desperate to move on from their wide receivers, more so they're desperate for draft picks. If they felt like they could net a premium draft pick or two for Cortland Sutton or Jerry Judy, then they would probably do it. And by premium pick, I mean a first round pick. I have to imagine that the deal with Baltimore for Cortland Sutton had to be something like maybe a second or a third. I don't know, man. The wide receiver market's been pretty shaky lately, and we've seen guys such as even DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best receivers in the NFL, kind of dry up a little bit on the trade market and the open market, although he's still on his team. He is on the trade market, so he's just kind of dried up. I'm not exactly sure what the compensation was for Cortland Sutton in this trade, but clearly it did not blow away the Broncos enough because they ultimately backed out of the deal. So I'm going to pose the question to you, Broncos country. What would you take in a trade for Cortland Sutton? What would be enough compensation to move the needle and for you to say, okay, I'm okay with us moving on from Cortland Sutton? So the only way I'd do it is if someone offered a first round pick, but I don't see that happening at all. But I'm curious how you guys feel about the situation, Broncos country. Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways that you can help show your support. It helps tell YouTube to push us out to fellow members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.